So I've said in many previous videos about Hyperia that I'd be disappointed that I wouldn't be there for opening day on Friday the 24th of May, and it would mean that I'd be one of the very last people to ride Hyperia. It appears that I may not be one of the last people to get on Hyperia, as after it opened on Friday the 24th of May, on the Saturday, it was announced by the park that Hyperia would not be opening and the park were working on fixing it. And in the park's original statement that they put on their Facebook, Instagram and everything really just to alert guests, they announced on this post on social medias that Hyperia would be closed subsequently from Sunday the 26th to Wednesday the 29th, with obviously that meaning that they obviously did put in this post, they would reschedule visits for other people. And hopefully they have done so, I'm not sure, because I haven't been in the country, I haven't really been looking on socials to see if they have done that, but I'm assuming they have. But they have announced on a post since that on social media, they cannot guarantee that Hyperia will be available on terms of open, until Saturday the 8th of June, which is obviously quite upsetting for people that had booked the trips for the past two weekends because it has meant that they unfortunately weren't able to get on Hyperia, which is what they hoped for, and has also meant that unfortunately Hyperia won't have been there for the initial half-term boost of people. And although it's a big shame that they unfortunately haven't opened Hyperia, it is obviously something that you always have to bear in mind for new rides, it's brand new, there is obviously going to be little things that they need to iron out and by the sounds of it, it's just something that they need to fix and from what I've heard people mentioning it might not be true because obviously it's rumour but they are mentioning that they might have to need to get a part for the ride just to make sure that everything's essentially in perfect condition as the maintenance and everything for these rides at theme parks is incredibly high stature and they really do hold these rides to a very high maintenance standard so that is all that is really happening with it but I still do feel for a lot of people who have booked to go to visit Hyperia or go to ride Hyperia given that they wanted to be there for the opening weekend unfortunately given they opened on a Friday meaning that a lot of people had work it meant that for the weekend where they booked unfortunately they haven't been able to ride I'd love to know if any of you were there for the opening day and have any reviews of the ride and what you think it was like because I've heard a lot of people holding it to a very high standard, not only saying that it's one of the best UK coasters, but one of the best in the world. So I'd love to know what you will think. I have now just booked myself a spot for the 8th of June because I guess the positive to that is I'll be back off holiday for that to try and go get a ride on Hyperia. I'd love to know what you will think on this. I have to be honest, in my opinion, I'm not gonna, I know a lot of people have been quite critical of Thought Park. I don't really think we can because they've done everything they can in their power and are still aiming to do that. This is just one of those things that they can't control. Um, apologies that it's a bit of a horrible audio. I'm literally recording this on my laptop in our hotel room on holiday while sipping on a pint. I'll be honest, this week was going to be a thing where I thought I just am not going to have time to make a video, but I thought I'd want to put something out there for you all so you've got a video to watch at least, even though it might not be to the usual standard. And I'll see you all next time in the usual setting.